Let us start our next part of our discussion in the lesson electricity that is power. So before going to learn about power, let us discuss some uh, terms. Uh, so energy. So here we are considering electrical energy. So electrical energy, first we will know about energy. What is meant by energy? Energy is nothing but the rate of the capacity to do a work is known as energy. For work, in this uh, total sentence we got a new point called as work. Let us define work. Work is nothing but an amount of force is applied on a particular object to move from one place to another place. Or uh, it can be said as here we have uh, some object. We are moving this object with some force. We are moving this object from here to here. So some displacement is uh, happened by the object because of the application of some force. So that is called as work. So work can be defined as work is represented with the letter W and W. Work is equal to force into displacement. Force into displacement. Why? Because work done is nothing but the application of force on a particular object for moving the object from a certain distance from here to here it is called as work so here 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 work is done by moving an electron from a cross sectional area to another cross sectional area from here to here i am moving a electron so for this i am applying some force so that is nothing but q that is nothing but q q is the charge so i am uh, moving a charge from here to here so, so that is nothing but the displacement moved by the displacement moved by the moved by the electron and the force applied on the electron is given with the term V. So nothing but voltage. So W equal to I can clearly say that W equal to charge into voltage. Charge into voltage. So here I am coming to power. So what is meant by power? Power is nothing but rate of doing work. Rate of doing work is known as power. So rate of doing work. How much in a, how much time I done a particular work is called as power. So how much time I am doing a work is known as power. So some people uh, will do work more fastly. So we can call it as the that man is a powerful man like that. So here also how much work done in certain amount of time should be considered as power. So here work, we already got the expression for work and it is W is equal to Q into V. So I am just substituting Q into V, QV in the place of W then I will get a QV by T, power equal to QV by T. So Q can be written like this. Q by T into V. Q by T is nothing but Q by T is nothing but current. So that is represented with I. So therefore power is equal to I into V. Power is equal to I into V is the expression. So we got power P is equal to I into V or we will call it as I V. So on the units for power is units for power is uh, watts watts so thousand watts is equal to one kilo one kilo watt so these terms will be considered for calculating the usage of electricity is nothing but 1 kilowatt is nothing but 1 unit 1 kilowatt is considered as 1 unit so everyone will get electricity bill electricity bill is calculated for units here 1 unit equal to 1 kilowatt 1 kilowatt equal to 1000 watts so this is nothing but in the expression for power so we are having, we are using uh, multiple devices which are having uh, uh, the voltage will be same. Why? Because the household is current is connected in parallel. Let us see how the household devices are connected and uh, how they work. Let us see now. Okay. 
In common Indian houses, we get the devices uh, like light, uh, TV, AC, fan, heater, etc. These should be connected in parallel. Why? Because we already discussed the parallel connection and series connection before uh, in the, before this session. So now I am going to explain how these devices are connected and what will happen when a certain amount of electricity is supplied uh, supplied to that household. So every household in our country is uh, between 220 volts to 240 volts. Generally, our devices can hold a voltage up to 220 volts. So, these uh, devices are connected in parallel. That's why this connection is said to be parallel connection. This current is said to the current uh, which is going in that can be divided to individually for every device. Let us see. The voltage will be same, 220 volts. Why? Because this connection is in parallel. And uh, the devices will be Connected parallel, that's why the current should be divided. So, here the amount of current will be divided to here to here. So, for suppose light can be worked with a uh, current of 4 amperes, 4 amperes, TV can be worked with a uh, current of 10 amperes, AC can be worked with a uh, current of 20 amperes, 20 amperes, and fan can be working with uh, 6 amperes, and water heater can be worked with uh, 16 amperes. 16 amperes. This much amount of uh, current is flowing through here, through every device. So if we add these currents, 4 plus 10, 14, 14 plus 20, 34, 34 plus 6, uh, 40, 40 plus 16, 56. Uh, total current is 56 amperes in the total household circuit. So here, for every household, the current should be supplied, should be same or not. That should be based on the uh, device of the location of the house. So, and the devices are the location of the house. So, 56 amperes is the total current which is flowing through the total devices which are present in the house. So, next the thing is, if suppose, suppose all the devices should be used at a time, then 56 amperes should be supplied to uh, to the total devices which are present in the house. Suppose the current should be only 50 amperes, 50 amperes, then the required amount of current is 56 amperes. That should be more current should be needed to work by the device. So if the work if the device has to perform the level of this, they require 56 uh, amperes of current. But we are supplying only 50 amperes of current. What will happen then? Then overload should be had. So, because of that overload, any device can be defaulted or any device can be can become uh, uh, more heated up and uh, sometimes uh, uh, some fault will be happened in the internal circuits of the devices uh, and uh, sometimes uh, the total things will be damaged or the device will be totally damaged sometimes like this will be happen. For avoiding this, we will introduce we will introduce a small device called as fuse. Fuse. If over current should be drawn by the circuit, then these fuse will be broken up. Fuse will be broken up. Then the short circuit, what will happen? In the for uh, in the total circuit will be will be stopped by the using a fuse. The fuse will broken down and that will stop the total circuit total uh, damage of the household circuit. So this is the importance of fuse 